Hello, welcome to a Physionic video, or if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're going to be answering the question of what is direct calorimetry? So, if that's what you're here to find out the answer to in a short, sweet, science-based video, that is what we will do. calorimetry is the gold standard for figuring out the amount of calories that we in a, we expend so or an object expends so any sort of biological system expends and the reason why is well if we know that on a molecular level or a cellular level our body uses ATP ATP is the energy system by which we well the most basic energy system that we use uh, to allow us to live. And when we use ATP, when enzymes, various enzymes, and there's many, many different enzymes that use ATP, but when those enzymes actually act on the ATP molecule, they end up uh, releasing heat. So that heat release is indicative of ATP use. So that said, we can measure the amount of heat that is released from our body, and then we can estimate the amount of calories uh, through the unit of calories, we can then estimate how much energy we use. So that's basically what direct calorimetry does. Uh, basically, you put an object, a living object, in a chamber which is closed off, uh, is well insulated, typically, not always, but typically has water around it, and then that water then absorbs through the walls of that chamber the heat that we release. So if you put a person in that chamber, then there's the controlled amount of oxygen that goes in and controlled amount of CO2 that comes out. So we're able to measure and calculate exactly the variables and make sure that everything is steady. So then the only factor that actually changes is the heat production that our body produces. And this isn't necessarily just for humans, we can do this on animals and we can do this on a lot of other things. I'm going to give another example in one of my other videos. But if we were to attribute this to humans, then we would just put a person into one of these chambers and then all we would have to do is just measure the amount of heat that they release and compare that to, let's say, an empty room. Have an empty room and then compare that when the person is in there for a set amount of time, let's say one hour. And then see the amount of change that we see in terms of heat. And then that change in heat, we can attribute that to the amount of energy that they've expended and then we can figure out how many calories they expend on a daily basis. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty neat. Uh, so yes, it is the gold standard. However, uh, I will say, I'm going to go over this in another video, but I will say that it's not really typically used uh, much anymore except for in very specific uh, circumstances. That said, I hope that I answered the question, and if I did, then I would certainly really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. It's certainly just, it's a huge motivator for me, uh, especially coming out with this free content that uh, people actually want to hear science-based information. Uh, so, and of course, my sources, as always, are linked below, peer-reviewed, uh, university-approved sources. With that said, I hope that you have an awesome day, and I will see you next time.